you got married. You got engaged and you got married right there. We're still, we're still married? Yeah. Still solid, brother. The only thing scarier than losing you right now would be to marry you. I to blame. You're here because someone in your relationship has issued an ultimatum. I want a ring on this finger. One partner is ready to get married and the other isn't sure. So, Colby, when you issue the ultimatum and you guys wind up on this show together, I, you guys, I'm sure you knew that you guys were going to be partnering with other people to figure out your relationships. But did you guys know you would be actually trying to date other people? Okay, so when it goes to the dating part, yes, um, of course. I mean, that was kind of the whole concept. Check and make sure the right we were with the right person to begin with. Um, that's kind of the whole concept. And the part that we didn't really fully uh, get a good grasp of before prior to the show was actually sleeping with the other person in the same bed. Mm -hmm. So that's what kind of threw everyone for a loop and it really shook things up for the, I think, all six uh, couples. So did you guys feel jealousy set in immediately when you're watching your, you know, significant oh, other dude, on dates? As soon as I saw six dudes' eyes hit my one girl, yeah, it was on. It was like, it's on, dude. It took me, I think I really didn't feel jealous until watching it back and seeing his conversations, like with Lauren specifically. I was like, <laughs> thank God she left. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, Madeline, I mean, everybody was like going after Colby. Colby was everybody's first pick, it seemed like, in those first few days. Did you have any idea that that's the way it was going while you were there? Or was that a surprise once you watched it? Yeah, I kind of did. The girls kind of talked and it was like all really like, oh, well, Colby's kind of nice. You know? I was like, yeah, OK. But I just I felt I mean, I think Colby gave me a lot of confidence going into this. He was so like gung-ho on me. I think I just kind of was on a little bit of a high horse where I just let things slide and was just enjoying my experience of it. So, Yeah. And you seem to have a pretty good connection with Randall, like right off the bat. What was it about Randall that that made you say, this is a dude I could spend some time with? But before she says anything, I knew that was going to be her pick from the beginning. As soon as you walked in, I was like, and she's going to pick him. Yeah. <laughs> I just knew it. How did you know? That's just her type of man, clean cut, very put together. Um, he's, and I'm not saying like, I'm not saying that for myself. I'm just saying the way he looked, presented himself, carried himself next to his woman. Um, I just had a feeling like that was gonna be her pick from, from the get go. Yeah, I liked that he was, he was very kind of calm, wasn't too like, la 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 in our first conversations. He was laid back, cool, um, smart and I just, we just had a good vibe and I mean, it's connection, it just kind of happened. Yeah, so once you guys, you know, were able to watch back what it was like those three weeks where you are you were both with other people, what were the conversations that you guys had about that? Well, so we watched them individually, which I think was good, but also we talked things out so much. We were like so transparent with each other because we were like nothing can come out on tv that we haven't talked about for sure that we mm -hmm. kind of like over we told each other so much more than what was even shown that it wasn't neither one of us i think were thrown through a loop or a surprise but yeah. i mean it i think it's just a little a little bit of a hit to actually see the visuals yes sure. that's definitely one area we do not struggle in as far as a couple is communication at and this point yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right but it's that was definitely something that helped us out throughout the show was just communicating being transparent making sure that um we've really in, indulged on this whole experience and uh getting the full thing you know full experience out of it yeah let's let's touch on communication because there were definitely moments during the show during arguments that you know where both of you guys would get up and walk away what did you learn about how to communicate from this experience? I would say definitely um, we need to have more private discussions before we have a full discussion with friends and family mm -hmm. um, to make sure we're on the same page and of understanding before too many outside views that really don't know what's going on in the inside um, influence or sway um, the way we respond or react. Um, I think that's the biggest thing that I learned or took from it. Um, I think also being where we are now, we're in an entirely different spot now than we were, For you sure. know? At that point, it was, are we gonna be together? Are we not? Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, if there's a sign that I should get rid of him, right? So when anything goes wrong, I'm like, I'm fighting for myself as we're now we're fighting for each other um, in yeah. our relationship. 
relationship. So sure. that's that's the biggest difference. So a big point later on in the season is Colby, you hooking up with somebody, and then it's the the dinner where you said I, I did that for for you, so you would realize exactly. Um, where what's your take on that now? I know at that moment you said I don't have any regrets, but looking back on it, you go, oh yeah, no, no, I can't regret saying that. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I, I I regret it to you know the point of which I don't ever want to blame Madeline for my own decision that I made. Clearly, um, mm -hmm. it was for me, and it was to make sure I did get the full experience, not just from the emotional connection that I had um, within the experience I was in but I had to venture out to get the physical because I didn't get that with April. So that was my choice to leave and go outside of this whole thing to um, make sure that I got the full experience that I was supposed to get. Yeah. Madeline, was it that that sort of realization that he had that, that allowed you to come back and say like, you know what, I do want to be a part of this relationship. That's now that he's had that, that perspective shift uh, I, mean, I can move forward with this. That was that was all that I needed, really. I wasn't so mad at him for kissing someone else. I mean, how could I be? I was, I kissed Randall, you know, and it was more just about, he was so upset with me for kissing Randall and like, couldn't, and that, I mean, I think it was more of a coping thing than like him getting what he needed out of it. But it was like, all I needed for him to say was, hey, I did this. I want to be honest with you about it. And I want to move forward. That was it instead of, I did it for you, you know, that just didn't make sense to me, so. Yeah, yeah. when I heard that, I was like, oh God, oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I looked back on it, I was also like, oh God, oh God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but then you guys, you know, by the end, you're, you got married. You got engaged and you got married right there. We're still, oh. we're still married? Yeah. Still solid, brother. And not only that, but we got a little bun in the oven. Yeah, and I, was talking I am. About. 35 weeks pregnant right now. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, you guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Oh my God, are you going to name the baby ultimatum? No, God, no. Okay, good, don't. No, good. no, no. We do have a name picked up, but we're not going to reveal that yet. 